There are several medical scams. I want you to avoid this here completely because they're just only targeting your pocket and nothing to do with your health. So the first one is uh, those electrolytes supplements you usually buy. Maybe you put that in water or something. Now, if you are normal and you're taking food that contains salt and you take fruits, in food that's salt, you're going to get your sodium, you're also going to get your chloride. In fruits, you're also going to get your potassium and all other trace elements that you need in those fruits. So when you take nuts, also you're also going to get those trace elements and uh, you don't actually need to go and buy those electrolyte supplements. They're just there to just yeah get some few dollars out of you. Now the second one is just ignore anyone telling you that sugar will cause cancer or it will give you yeast infection. Now, the only thing sugar does is to make that cancer worse. The already existing cancer, it doesn't cause cancer. It only make it worse, even yeast infection, because now if you give more food, it's but they are bound to just do that now. Take for example, when you have cancer, the cells are over dividing and they have a high, very, very high demand for sugar. And this is the reason why now, when you have cancer, you tend to lose a lot of weight in a short period of time because it's just directing all the energy that you have into those dividing cells. So sugar does not cause cancer unless you're talking about the sugar which is contaminated that usually just hit our news every now and then that we have sugar which is contaminated in the circulation. But pure sugar, which is not contaminated, does not cause cancer. It only makes it worse when you already have that cancer. Number three is uh, we have those continuous blood sugar monitoring devices people usually use when you're not diabetic. If you don't have issue with sugar in your system, you don't need them. Those are just there to make money out of you. If you have a good working mechanism, you don't actually need to worry about sugar so long as at the end of the day you're checking about what you're eating or the amount of sugar that you're taking into your body. We have alkaline water and alkaline in foods anyone telling you about them that's pure bs because anything alkaline getting to your stomach will meet an acid which is around two and a ph of two so everything will be neutral okay not even neutral it will be acidified because you have more if you eat food that is um alkaline in your stomach it will be acidified by the acid that you have and by the time it's getting the small intestines everything else is just it becomes neutralized again to a ph which is tolerable to the body so it doesn't change anything so do you see those food detox where you go and uh, just place your feet in to just avoid them because they're just they are doing nothing the only thing okay and I, I want you to just verify this you just go yourself just pay don't put your legs in and make sure the machine is switched and plugged to the wall because it uses electricity to electrolyze um, to make rust rust inside that car box that is usually placed in that water and if you have noted they usually add um, salt to make that water conducive if you remember your is it physics or chemistry today? if you add sugar okay not sugar if you add salt to any water it becomes more electrically conducive so it becomes very easy for that machine to oxidize the iron which is already in there and if you remember iron 3 oxide is usually reddish brownish in color so that's what exactly you're going to find in that water and if even if you don't dip your water you let there if you just let it sit it's going to change the color regardless of whether you put it or not so just as calm number six avoid anyone telling you about colon cleansing your body is supposed to take care of itself you don't actually need to help your body when it comes to things like those unless you have an obstruction in your stomach and especially when you go to the washroom you just empty your bowel but you still feel that you have something left it might be an indication that you need to be checked because it might be either you have an obstruction due to a polyp or maybe you have maybe a cancer there or something if you feel that you still have something left or maybe you're having those other conditions that are usually brought by either we have Crohn's disease we have so many conditions that can happen just go get checked the only instance when i would want you to get a colon cleanse which would be done by your doctors is when you are having um, a surgical procedure that is entailing maybe something to do with your colon or maybe your intestines that's when they need to be cleaned and everything removed so that the area will be clean nothing else you don't need to actually go and buy those because you're just just give, okay anyway you can just go give them money because where, how, how are they going to survive if you don't give them that money do you see that machine that you usually place your hands on and it tells you everything about your body if you see that machine just run uh, i actually don't want to go into the details because if i give you the technicalities of the body we cannot be able to just sit down in one sitting and just talk about how each and everything is measured and what we look into 
there's no okay just just ignore that thing another scam is when you go to the gym or any other point and that weighing machine once you just step on that machine it tells you even the amount of fat that you have and the ratio of fat that you have that's pure also this is just still similar to the scam of where you place your hands um the way you can know how much fat you have is not by just weighing only you'll have to be dissected for us to see the amount of fat that you have under your skin or maybe imaging or something of the sort. Or if you want to know the amount of fat that you have in your blood, there is something that you call lipid profile. That one is something that we can be able to verify. But that one where you just step on a machine and it tells you the amount of fat that you have. Hmm. Number nine, you know anyone telling you that you can be able to burn your belly fat or maybe fat around maybe a specific point in your body your body does not specifically point a place where you're going to just pick the fat and start burning it burns generally number 10 ignore anyone telling you that you need to take eight glasses of water a day that was just as calm it was just meant for sales one thing you have to understand is we have different water requirements depending on what is going on for example if you are working somewhere you are sweating you need to replace a lot of that you might end up even taking 10 glasses of water in that day but make sure you have electrolytes so make sure you, you eat food that contains salt also when for example you are living in a place where you don't need to you're not losing a lot of water or maybe you are not that active you're not losing that water you might end up not even taking even a single glass of water that day because you are maybe eating food that contain water you're doing something else so you don't need actually to eat to take those eight glasses of water a day the only thing that you need to do is to make sure that you give your body water when it needs